Hi, welcome to Cycling Vancouver. My name is Steve. This is Ride 29. Today is Thursday, May 7, 2020. It is a beautiful sunny day without a cloud in the sky. The temperature is around 17 degrees Celsius. In this ride, I intend to start at Stanley Park and ride to Horseshoe Bay. Anyone familiar with cycling in Vancouver will tell you that the most popular riding route in the city is the Stanley Park seawall. When it comes to cycling routes, the seawall is not particularly popular. It is flat and about six kilometers in length. While it is a beautiful route, it is short and generally ridden by tourists and casual riders. While I had originally thought to claim that the Horseshoe Bay route was the most popular cycling route, after some consideration, I realized that that is probably not true. I think it is Vancouver's most beautiful cycling route. However, I also think it is Vancouver's most dangerous cycling route, and that is what prevents it from being our most popular cycling route. Horseshoe Bay is located on the westernmost point of West Vancouver on Vancouver's North Shore. The route is quite straightforward. I will ride Stanley Park Drive until the Lions Gate Bridge and then cross Burrard Inlet to the North Shore. I will then turn west and ride Marine Drive all the way to Horseshoe Bay. West Vancouver is located on the lower slopes of the North Shore Mountains. Marine Drive winds along the ocean side and is bounded by seaside houses on the south and rock faces on its north. It is an undulating, winding road. It is often difficult to see far ahead and there are often drivers wanting to pass by. This road was constructed long ago. Because of the natural impediments and the practicalities of road construction in that day and age, the route is narrow, it offers few areas with any shoulder to ride on, and in many cases it is quite dangerous to get too close to the right-hand side of the road lest one fall into a ditch. While I highly recommend cycling this route, a cyclist must be comfortable riding in traffic on what is becoming an increasingly busy road. It is these realities that limits the popularity of the Horseshoe Bay route. And as you will also see, there are few sidewalks and even pedestrians have to walk on the road. Despite this, the route is still very popular with cyclists and I think that is because of the incredible vistas.
Normally, I would ride to Horseshoe Bay, turn around, and retrace my steps back to Vancouver. However, on this ride, I decided to detour and visit one of my favorite spots overlooking the bay. Despite wanting to stay longer, I decided it was time to leave and head home.
I decided to stop in Dunderay and visit the pier. This is a nice little village, but it closes at 7 p.m. for bedtime. Now I am off to home. Thank you. 